Greek direct democracy. From the 8th century BC to the 7th century AD, the empire of Greece flourished, leading to unmatched advances in art, architecture, literature, and education. Perhaps Greece's greatest gift to the world, however, was the development of democracy. At its largest, in the early 4th century BC, under the ruler Alexander the Great, the Greek Empire touched three continents, extending from the Mediterranean Sea to Southern Asia, from modern Kazakhstan into Northern Africa. Greece was divided into city-states, the largest of which was Athens. In this region, the world's first democracy was created. Prior to its development, Athens was ruled by aristocrats who created laws that benefited themselves and created a clear distinction between the ruling class and the ruled. In response to a period of tyranny, the Athenians established a citizens' assembly to govern city policy. This assembly evolved into a direct democracy, which was founded in Athens between 508 and 507 BC. As a direct democracy, citizens voted directly on legislation. Citizens were also randomly selected to hold government administrative and judicial positions. This system of democracy is considered to be one of the most direct in history, as regular citizens controlled every part of the political and legal process. An important figure in the development of Athenian democracy was Solon, a politician and poet who lived from roughly 638 to 558 BC. Though little of Solon's work has survived, many other authors of the time wrote about his work to reform the political system of Athens. Solon focused his efforts on uniting the city-state minimizing slavery due to debt, and expanding the legal protection of the Athenian people as well as their rights to vote and hold office. Greek democracy was not a perfect system. Only free, native-born, land-owning men were considered to be citizens. Of the 250 to 300,000 people living in the city-state, only a third were considered citizens with full legal protection. And only 30 to 50,000 were eligible to vote and address the assembly. During the early days of democracy, an estimated 50 to 70% of the people living in Athens were slaves who were excluded from the democratic process. Though not a perfect system, Athenian democracy led to many of the principles on which modern constitutions and democracies were founded.